Hi and welcome aboard Lady Lieselot. This is part two of my trip to the city Lisse, where I will have dinner with my kids tonight. Hmm, what went wrong in part one? Oh, I'm still thinking uh, about what happened at the uh, Leimuiderbrug. Uh, pop, 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 pop. That was something. I had to act very quickly. What I did was I backed up with full power uh, with the starboard engine so that the belly went um, more into the middle of the canal and then I pushed her with the tank turn towards the middle and then I was able to uh, go to the bridge. Okay, what have I, have I learned? Well, you tell me. What have I learned? Keep your distance. Wow, that was something. Oh, but I must confess, this is part two. And, hmm, there is something very strange happening with my compass. Well, well, I will not explain. Let's have a look. Okay, I am on manual steering right now and have a look what you see. There is something weird going on. And since I am still sailing on a canal in a straight line, one would think, what is happening with this compass. The thing that happens over here is this is a boat bridge. So the cars drive under us but there is also a train and this train is not a diesel one but it is an electric train. Yes, it causes an enormous magnetic field. And you know what, the first time I was driving Lady Lieselot over here I had the autopilot on and the autopilot uses a compass and you just saw what happened with the compass oh my god so i was uh, i was uh, uh, watching the boat drive itself almost into the quay i saw the, the numbers go down and up and i thought my goodness what happened well luckily i was able to press standby fast enough and make the correction needed. But man, man, man. Meerbrug, Lady Lieselot gearriveerd. Dankjewel en een goede wacht verder. Hè? Tot de volgende. Some cyclists, people on a bicycle. <laughs> when I use only one engine, I always have to give um, yeah. It's a one-on-one -on -one translation against rudder. I have to correct the rudder six to seven degrees towards the side that I use my engine. So that means that if I have my starboard engine running like now, I have to uh, bring the rudder to six, seven degrees starboard and that is because of the fact that if you use your um, starboard engine it will push the bow to port or if you go astern it will bring the belly the stern to port and with the port engine of course the other way around and since i would love to steer in one at least drive in one direction I have to make a correction of six to seven degrees. OK, 
Okay, with all the boats on port, I will not speed her up. We now have a speed of 9 kilometers per hour at 1330 RPM. One of my viewers asked me, what is the depth in the Netherlands in the canals? It has a depth of 3.7, 3.8. The land you see on board, the windmill, is actually a isle, an island. It is called Kaag, Kaag Island. And on several spots on Kaag Island, they have cable ferries, like the one you see now on starboard. And then the farmers drive their cars or their um, equipment on the ferry to bring uh, it towards Kaag Island. Within uh, 300 meters you see the harbor, the yacht harbor of Kaag Island. The first boat is called Toto and that is from Facebook friends of mine and she had her birthday yesterday. I congratulated her via Facebook of course but perhaps she is on board and if so I will sing for her whilst passing. For you I hope she is not on board. <laughs> oh, I see some movement. Yes, she is on board and she is waving, but she is inside. In the Gloria, in the Gloria. Dat ben ik aan het doen. Ik vertel net dat je jarig was. <laughs> Why are you not recording? But I am recording! <laughs> okay, and then when we bend towards the starboard uh, there is the A44 train bridge. We are 25 minutes before opening. So I will um, prepare the fenders on port side this time. Are you kidding us? No, I am not. By now we have 20 minutes to wait, so stop stop and power off the engines. Yes, I have a red green. It is my favorite color. Well, green of course, but red green will do also. And the train bridge is already opening. Whoa, that is nice. PTZ control, I have to switch it on. That is face forward, is number six. Kaag Spoorbrug, Lady Lieselot komt alvast door, dat is goed hè. And now the road bridge also opens.
Dank je wel weer en uh, tot de volgende keer. Years ago, ages ago, the land over there was all water, but we then built dikes around an enormous area and we started pumping out all the water into this man-made canal. So all the water which was down there was pumped up into the canal and then moved away. It took some years, but that is the reason why we have so many windmills. All those windmills pulled up all the water from the, as we call it, polder, a polder. And what you can see on the footage is that the dike itself is way much higher and Lady Lieselot is driving on water which is way, way higher, at least three meters higher than the polder er, behind the dike. And th this is typical for this area and also for the Netherlands. We are world famous for conquering the water and creating land out of it. And this is how we do it. This is how we do it, baby. <coughs> the public key of the city Lisse and have a look at the apartment complex which is built next to it. Ha, oh, these people must be so lucky that I more Lady Lieselot next to their house. <laughs> <laughs> What's the English English expression? Up nose. <laughs> Oof. All the people on the opposite of the K have seen me in the last year and a half. Often more Lady Lieselot on this K because of what I told you before. My kids lived in this city. <clears throat> and they uh, came and had dinner with me. First of all, I will do the tank turn, as you see. And then I go watch backwards with position two on starboard. And I would love to be in the sun I already had my fenders out. I did that off camera. I even had my docking stairs out already. Well, in the meanwhile, I can <coughs> switch off my engines. I cannot see my camera anymore because of the sun. How do the people on the Bahamas film themselves when they have sun all the time? Well, perhaps I must go over there and find out myself. Don't you agree? But for now, since I am in the Netherlands... Oh, wait, wait, wait for me. Since I am in the Netherlands, I have to figure it out this way. Thank you very much for being on board of Lady Lieselot in this journey. And I would say or ask you, you we meet again in another video. Deal. See you next time. Bye bye now. Well, perhaps one should expect that I now say, ah, it's time for coffee. But I better do that, not say that, because it becomes a natural thing then. But, uh, well, whilst I'm talking about it, perhaps I should pour out a cup of coffee.